High in the remote mountains, where clouds drift across towering cliffs and the air is thin and crisp, lives a truly remarkable creature, the largest species of honeybee in the entire world, the giant cliff bee. These bees don't live in cozy hives tucked away in tree hollows. No, they build massive golden homes clinging to sheer rock faces, often hundreds of feet above the ground, fully exposed to wind, storms, and predators. On just one cliff alone, there can be more than two million bees. From a distance, the hives look like hanging golden carpets, shimmering in the Sunday. But up close, they are bustling cities of life. Worker bees return to the nest with their tiny bodies heavy with nectar and pollen. Each one carries a treasure, collected from miles around. But before they store it, they share the news. How? With one of nature's most extraordinary communication methods, the waggle dance. By wiggling their bodies in precise angles and rhythms, they tell their sisters exactly where to find the best flowers. It's a code only bees can read a secret GPS, written in movement. But getting inside the hive isn't always easy. These entrances are narrow, and the hive is unprotected from the outside world. There's no fortress wall here. Instead, the only defense is the bees themselves. Rows of workers line up shoulder to shoulder, forming a living shield. Every tiny body counts because danger is never far away. And here it comes, the hornet, a powerful, fast, and deadly predator. Hornets patrol the air around the hive, looking for a moment of weakness, a bee separated from the group, or a gap in the defensive wall. One on one, a bee stands little chance, but these bees have a strategy. When a guard spots a hornet approaching, she raises her abdomen high in a warning display. The signal spreads like wildfire, a Mexican wave rippling through thousands of bees. This coordinated movement confuses the predator, making it see not a single target, but a united army. Often, that's enough to send the hornet flying away, defeated before the first sting is delivered. But hornets aren't the only ones interested in the riches of these hives. For generations, the people of the Himalayas have risked their lives to collect one of nature's purest treasures, wild honey. In Nepal, honey hunters climb toward the cliffs armed with nothing but hand-woven ropes, a bamboo ladder, and smoking torches. They believe the smoke signals a forest fire, convincing the bees to abandon their hive, at least for a short while. With the air thick with buzzing wings, the hunter descends, sometimes 50 meters, the height of a 15-story building with no gloves, no shoes, and only a basket tied to a pole. To reach the golden honeycombs, he first cuts away the lower portion of the hive where the larvae grow. Then, balancing with his feet while holding the pole, he scoops the upper, honey-rich section into his basket. It's a dangerous dance between man and bee, where one wrong move could mean a deadly fall or hundreds of stings. Back in the village, the honey is shared among families thick, fragrant, and sweet, carrying the taste of thousands of wildflowers. Even though one hive may be partially destroyed, these hunters take care to leave many untouched, ensuring the bees survive and return next season. Because here, in the shadow of the Himalayas, humans and giant cliff bees share a delicate, ancient relationship, one built on respect, risk, and reward.